Hello, welcome back. Last time I did two pretty quick rooms and one not so quick one. I had a little bit of trouble here. Uh, so again, Larry has pointed me to a demo that'll show me an alternate way to do it. Uh, so if I look at Noah T's demo, supposedly it's possible to get to a corner, like a different corner than the one I start in, and use a mud baby from there to hold the door open for me. Okay, so you're going for the north corner, huh? That's what it looks like to me. So yeah, create that pocket, and then show me what you do. Get that dude. Sure, I tried those moves. What do you do different that worked better than what I did? Oh. I thought I tried that sort of thing and it didn't work. I don't know why my attempt at that didn't do the right thing, but that looks easy. That looks easier than what I did. Because I had this, well, it started out as a complicated dance around the mud baby, but then I learned to simplify it as I got better at dancing around a uh, brain thingy. Okay, that didn't look so bad. If I had just figured that out quicker, I would have had less trouble with that room. So apparently Noah T's demo is also the one I want to watch here to see the alternate way to do it. Then I'll be done and can actually play. So don't stop for tar. Go straight to mud. This looks familiar for one of the ways I tried to do this. Trim that then, because you have a bunch of time to just do whatever. You're going to trim that then, yes, of course. Then what? Show me. So this will grow, make mud baby mud baby, mud mud. Straight to the south, wait another cycle, yes, of course. Okay, so I tried this. Is this the Dragon Fogel strategy? I'm calling it that way because I watched his demo and he did what I think is happening here. Yeah, this looks familiar. I tried this. I couldn't make it work. Dragon Fogel did. Looks like Noah T will too. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. And that's how you get there in time. So you're going to step here, stab that, kill that tar baby, stab that, kill those. No, not kill those. You killed one. Something about that particular move sequence for getting from there to here while killing enough of those, I just, I was always one turn short. I would land here with my sword this way and I'd have a mud baby here and one here and nothing I could do to survive. So then, is there a difference here? So you got that capped off like that. And then that's enough tar babies, you don't have to worry about that, so then you just need a mud cap. Which you can just do like that, of course. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty similar to what I did. Except also different. Okay. I was on the right track to, to track for most of that, but I just couldn't make that one move from here to here work for whatever reason. I wonder why not. I'm going to have to look back at my footage and see what I was doing wrong. Anyway, so 4N4E is the room I've been warned about. That would be through there. Huh? Let's take a peek. Maybe I should go there first take on the real hard one right now. Oh dear, this does look nasty. You're all on trapdoors. I'll bet, oh, and there's a, right, there's a challenge in this room. Don't touch the mirror. Do I want to do a nasty room now? I don't. I'm not. I got other stuff I need to do tonight. I don't want to spend two hours on that. So you know what? I'll come back to that room later. I've been warned about it. I know it's there. I know it's not going to be pleasant. I'll get to it when I get to it. That's fine. Uh, so, hi Tar Mother, hi Mud Mother. I'm gonna step in here and stab you. You will be growing those. Someone has to step on that for me to get in there. Who will that be? Probably you. That mud will grow to that and block my way. Also, I gotta drop some trapdoors first. Then that tar will grow to that and block my way. So the straightforward thing to do... Oh, I know what this is. This is a swap tar mud room. Got it. Bring the mud around so it's in the tar spot. Bring the tar around so it's in the mud spot. I don't even need to play that out. I see exactly how this will go. All right, so... Ooh. Okay, so mud's much easier to prune. Let's do this for the tar. Hmm. Let's move this one little corner at a time. Tar grows first. 
tar will overtake mud. So if I allow this, that happens. Good. Now how... Okay, so now I need to... It's a shame I have to do all that. I think I'm going to sit here? There will be a tar baby there, and that'll hold the door for me. Yeah, this will be fine. So allow that. Allow that again. Probably allow that again. Okay, and that's halfway around. It's good. If I just let it grow without messing with it... You went there, that's fine, not a problem. Alright, I think this is going to be straightforward. Looks pretty simple. So I probably want to sit here. Let that happen. Um, probably if I'm going to sit there, I want to face like this. So that I can stab there. And I might as well do that now. This can go away now. Ooh, um, well, okay, I'll wait here. Uh, okay, that doesn't, that's not doing what I want it to do. You know what? Let's leave that alone? No, that doesn't work. So, if I do this, I'm dead. If I do this... Well, fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, hey, yeah, a tar baby held the thing for me. Good. Do these need to be synchronized? Happen at the same time? Does it matter? Uh... I don't see why. I think I'm good as it, as it is, right? Just let growth happen. You made a mud baby and that's not okay. Oh, okay, so they have to be all the way in the corners. That's why that's necessary. Got it. Let me just hold this state for one more growth. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so this is what I want. Can I drop the trapdoors before things happen? I can. Good. Bloimp. Bloimp. I'll bet that's a problem. Yeah, I'm not getting back in there. Got it. Okay, so don't let that happen. So I want them to grow. All right, so let's do this. Is that all I need? No, we're gonna get a mud baby here no matter what I do. Uh, that's not quite true. I can do this to prevent it. How much tar do I want? Probably want to let this happen. So tar will grow here, tar will grow there. Mud baby's gonna happen. I'm gonna kill it like this, and then tar will do its thing. Cool. Okay. Good. Kill mud. Wait for tar. Kill tar. Hi, mud baby. Why are you there? I guess it's a race. Okay. I can do that and... Oh, and then it stops. Okay, it's not a race. I just had to do that. Easy. All right. Room done. Simple stuff. Cool. Yeah, that was a real easy one. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that corner room where it is. Uh, what, what do you do? Okay, so toggle roach... Roach dies there. Never let a tar baby be created. This is a problem spot. Got it. I use this to summon a roach. This is structured such that when I step on there, one roach will come to me. If I stand on it, more will. But, oh, hey, what's this? Okay, so that's why I gotta grow the tar. Alright, where's my problem spots? Here's one. Here's one. That might be two... Let's see, so it'll grow around the... Uh, hold on. Let me just... Let's just play out the first bit of this and see. All right, so we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, not yet. One cycle later. So that's going to be on uh, this turn. Was I one too late? No, that's perfect. Okay. Rochi dies. Yeah, okay. And then that just creates a flat edge of tar there. You know what I can do? Let's keep that roach around. Why would I spend it? One, two, three, four, five. Good. And roach is spent. So next cycle's fine. The one after that will mean I need roach there. One after that means I need roach there. 
So again, I can use the same roach for that. So we just need uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, next one. Right now. Okay, oh, wait, just wait till 29. And you can still sit here. Hold on, I need two roaches now, don't I? Probably gonna hold them in here. Are these in a friendly turn order? No. I'm gonna have to reverse their turn order. Okay, I can deal with that. Uh, yeah, so in reverse turn order, they will not... Well, well, no, wait, that's actually the order I want. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, because I need one here and one here, because... So here, I can let this happen and it's fine. But then when this grows, it's going to make a tar baby here and here. And I need to have two roaches spooled up to prevent that. This part's fine. This is going to, I'm going to need to park some roaches in there. Then later get two that are split apart there and there. No problem. Do I have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have one extra. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, this is going to be held by tar. Okay, uh, so what I need right now is two roaches. These two guys in here, and then one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay. So these are spent. Everything's good. Nothing needs to happen immediately. So now my only problems are there. So do the same thing, but leave them there. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so false. I need to preload. Okay, just preload. Do what you did before. Use the wall as your advantage. Good. And wait, I need to leave them though. Oh, here's the trick. <laughs> so, that's a problem. How am I going to use those roaches for this, but also prevent those? Because if I just get rid of them now, that's still going to happen. Okay, there's an issue. I think I know how. It's complicated. I think I might have spent too many roaches, actually. So, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna wait. And I'm gonna spool up. Oh, how's this gonna work? So I think I want all five, and I can't get all five. I can get, uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Yeah, this is fine. This is exactly what I want. This is perfect. Mm -hmm. So those dudes there. Oh, also, that means I don't have to deal with that right away, but it means that it's going to be weirder when I do. All right, so I just want a one here. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, so complicated. This is fine, though. Everything's good. So we'll get one. So you'll do one, two, because you'll be moving. Three. So I want a three, and I want this to be able to... Like this? No. I might have wanted something different here, but I'm not sure how I could get something different. How will this work? Oh, I can do that. So I wanted that two earlier. So one, two. Uh-uh. Fascinating. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Okay, and then... It kind of looks like I have a problem here. Will it fix itself if I do this? No. But this will be able to grow okay. All right, so I think I can allow... Okay, no, no, this is bad. You're a problem. You are a problem. So here's what happens if I wait. Many bad things. Here's what happens if I partially wait and, like, move you like that. Those things. At what point can I clear out this? Okay, I had to do something different here. This is interesting. I can't allow this. What 
if. Well, what if that means there's an entire baby's there. So that's no good. Okay, so something different needed to happen here. When exactly? This is the real puzzle now. So I did load two roaches into there at one point. What if I kept you here? That wouldn't help me, right? Oh, well, also I needed you down there. Okay, gotcha. That happened a while ago. I forgot, so this was five, I believe. So that's all mandatory. There's nothing I can do about that. And there's no more help I can get from these roaches, right? This won't meaningfully change anything. And also that causes that to happen. Yeah, okay. So no real meaningful change from that. I can do that, which has no effect. Okay. So... What do I do now? These spots are going to remain a problem for a long time. I need some roaches imprisoned there. But this is also a problem here. Okay, idea. What if... What if I do this? It might look weird, but... Hear me out. Well, it's a little early for that, isn't it? Nothing looks good about that. That's terrible. But okay, fine. I'll try it and see what happens. So here's a situation where I really need to protect... That's... Oh, actually, have I done something good? I might have. Let's just mess around and see what sorts of magic I can perform here. So if I wait two more, do... Oh, I can do that if I want, but I don't want. I'd rather have... Let's not wait. Let's wait one more. Okay, so this, this, this? No. I don't know about any of this. This isn't looking too good. I feel like I almost need to delay that. Can I have you further north? Why are you so far south? Well, I could have two in there. I can do this. Hmm. What's my plan here? I don't have a good one. Let's see, so if, if I do that... Hey, that's not bad. Something good happened. I'll bet I was supposed to use you for something. Maybe I still can? So you can be one of the two in here. And those two dudes are going to solve my problems, except, except you. You need to be down there, and you can't be... Uh... I don't want that to happen. I really liked the look of this. I like the blank space here, blank space here, but I don't like what you're doing there. What do I do about you? If I do that at a slightly different time, one turn earlier, do the same thing. That's bad. One turn earlier, do a different thing. No. Two turns earlier, do a different thing. Almost. Now, I had some control over tar shapes over there. I can also do this, which changes things. Not for the better. Yeah, that's not really what I want, is it? Unlikely. That's really not. Uh, okay. 
So those had to be there. I don't need anything this turn. But if I'm releasing any roaches, I kind of have to release all the roaches. Now I can change my circumstances a little bit here by loading... Oh. No, I can't have somebody loaded over there, really. Well, hold on. I can change some stuff here. I can do this. And that's fine. Okay, so that gives me another safe growth. I probably want to allow that. Oh, it's not safe. Ah, okay, there, that's safety. This is, uh, this is fiddly. If you couldn't tell. Um... So next time you grow, there's going to be Tar Baby here and one here. I'm just kind of trying random inputs and hoping one will do the job. Hey, that kind of did the job. Kind of. But I still have the same problem here. I've done nothing to solve that. So let's see, next growth cycle you would go in there, and then the one after that you could grow shut safely there. So I just, I really just need this, these occupied for one more. Okay, so if I could do exactly that, but keep a roach up there. What did I do? I did something weird. I did that? What if I wait a bit? How long can I wait? Not quite that long. If I do this way early, then it doesn't protect that spot. Okay, so hang on. Do that five later. One, two, three, four, five. I've tried this already. Mm, and it does that. Yeah, of course. Okay, so we need something different. See, now I don't have... Decisions I make here have too many cascading effects for me to feel like I can reason about like, look at this later state and say, ah, of course, in the earlier state I wanted to do this different thing, and that would help everything. Um, it's just too far removed for that. I think you need to help me control the growth here. Let's try this? No. Uh, this? No. This is what I tried already. Now, what was the specific... Again, okay, so I'm going to try to apply some reasoning to this. So if, if I allow a growth, i got two babies there. If I move this way, you get one there. If I back up one more turn and I move this way and this way, we get one here because there's no roach there. If I back up... Let's see. So if I do this and wait... There's no tar here, so this spot isn't a problem, it's only this one. I could have something there. So that's the benefit of leaving a roach there. Did I have to move you so far? If I just wait, then that happens. So if I... I want to do that. Do I... I can't encase you fully in tar, that's not what I want. So if I dispose of that roach, nothing is going to make a tar baby right at the moment. This is the same thing as I already tried, I just don't have the extra roach down there and that doesn't even make a difference. That's interesting, but now you're trapped forever. What if... that? So I'm back in that circumstance and no better off, except I have a difference here. So my problem spot is right here at the moment. And if I move anything to block that, I'm going to have... Well, let's see what I can do. No, I can't. 
I can't load two roaches into the... Okay, so... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Yeah, okay, so we got a trapped roach there. That doesn't help anything. I don't get it. Yeah, my problem with what I'm seeing here is I just don't have the... This doesn't really communicate to me what I need to be doing differently than what I'm doing. Like, what can I meaningfully change here? There's nothing that's particularly good about that. Those guys go away, this happens, and as I just in that situation with fewer roaches available. Like, I can't, from this state, I cannot protect both these and this at the same time. By having this here, I have eliminated that problem. If I could do that down here... Well, see, I've done that, though. I've had roach, 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 roach. And it doesn't lead to a good situation, because then I can't... Get okay, so what I... I feel like... All right. So I've applied some reasoning. I feel like what I want is roach, 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 roach. So how do I get that situation? I can do this, and I will do this. It won't work though. Like, I can do that, but then tar baby. I can't get five stacked up there. Hold on, maybe it changes something. I released those awfully early. Let's wait on the release for a moment. Does anything change if I release them later? I can go all the way here and no, nothing changes. Certainly not. I just lose my opportunity to, to park one in there. Do I want one in there? I don't know, maybe? Oh boy. So yeah, at this point I feel like I'm just trying the same thing over and over. And not having any change in results. to get a situation where I have two in there and one here and I'm standing in this column. I don't know how I would do that. I think that might be impossible. Even if you were one more north, nothing would help me do that. So I could queue those. Well, I mean, maybe. No, hang on. not just because turn order it doesn't it doesn't happen if i want to spool them up here if you go uh 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 then you go uh <laughs> i don't like this i don't like this because it's boiled down to blind experimentation i don't know what the puzzle wants from me so i'm just trying everything and hoping one of the random things i try happens to be right this is obviously wrong Fine, let's enumerate the things. So just two roaches there means I have vulnerable spots here and here. Those two tar babies happen. After this point, let's pretend those two tar babies aren't there. After this point, everything's great. False. I still need two roaches there. Okay, so if I leave the two roaches there, I can't really dispose of the tar babies. If I could have disposed of everything... Alright, so from this point, uh, things still aren't good because that didn't go shut the same way. Okay, anyway. You see what I'm saying, though. So... So that's what's wrong with that. I still have five roaches. 
let's do a super quick check for inefficiencies. Did I at any point spend a roach when I didn't need to? That was necessary. That was efficiently spent. And it's good. So then I use one single one for that. Maybe I could release two roaches right away there to save one for... Okay, so um, let me... You know, I can get back to this, this situation pretty easy. It's fine. I'll just rewind a bit. Let's experiment with something. Let's see if maybe this room wants me to go so far back that I get two roaches in here. Suspiciously, that does exactly fit there. I cannot allow that to grow again. I can, however, do this. No, I can't. So that makes two tar babies there. If I if it grows again, it does that. No, this is no good. Uh, yeah, this is no good. And it's not like I can put one there and keep that over. No. Wait a second. No, 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 no. That can't be a. Hmm. So I don't think that's it. I don't think I have an opportunity to release two and then use both for th that. Right? Seems accurate. What if... What if I roached right here? It would help nothing. That is not useful in any way. No, I don't think this is where I need to change anything. And I don't even know why an extra roach would help me. <sighs> Fine, let me get back to where I was. Oh, that's interesting. So look at this. So I have... So I've prevented this. Right, and I've prevented that. So it looks like I'm done with that roach and I just want to use two here and here. What if I don't? Here's a way to save a roach. I can leave you there. Let that grow around you. And then I only need to use this... Oh, I saved two roaches this way. Okay, this feels like a good thing to do. There we go. Okay, I've saved two roaches. So, uh, I have more resources available to me now. I'm not sure I can deploy all of them usefully. So let's just... See what happens if I pull out every roach. All roaches come to me. I lose two of them. Two is the number that I saved, so this has not improved my circumstances. I could deploy them earlier. And change something, okay. That's as far over as they can go. That's nothing, nothing about that is good. No, I don't want that. No, I saved two, but now I lose them. Unless, like, these two can be of some use to me down there somehow? I mean, they can maybe change the way some of this grows, but okay, so I think I think I need to discard one. At the very least here. Right? Because... Because I do, right? So I didn't want to save two, I only wanted to save one. This hasn't changed anything. No, nothing about this, this is not, no. No, no, no. I don't think I needed to save those two because I can't use them. If I don't pull out every roach now, any move from this column to the east will discard all the roaches that I have in there now. <sighs> However... Okay, so check this out. What if I go for a more minimalistic approach here? Let's just take two. Maybe I've been thinking about this wrong, trying to be too tricky about it. Yeah! Hey, check it out. This might work. So then I want, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, wait a second. 
No, no, I can't block those two spaces because I have to block those also, but... Okay, well, let's... So since I've now done that and I have this all spooled up, how does the spacing work out? Not well. But I could maybe make it work. Let's just see what happens if I wait 10 turns before doing that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oops. Of course a tar baby happens there. How's that look? Pretty good. Not good enough. Because now that I prevented those two. Oh, wait, this is different. There's a. That's okay, this is interesting. I know how to do it. I think. Um, no, I don't. No, I have no idea. If I do that, that's obviously not helpful. I feel like I need to prevent just a little bit of tar growth there. I need like one side of this to change. I could take three roaches here because I had an extra. Let's take three. And I can easily change the north part like this. Yes. So I don't have to worry about north. Now I can just worry about south. Okay. Um, these need to be discarded. No, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't work still. So my problem spots are here, here, and here at this point. But after that, I'm still going to be in the same situation. I've just used more roaches to get there. Oh. Hold on. Now, now, wait. Let's make sure the things I'm saying are actually true. Watch this. Okay, I watched it. It wasn't great. Nope. Nope. Not what I want. What do I want? So when this grows, I have three problem spots. To address this, let's just, just play this dumb. Address those three problem spots just individually. Which I can't really do here, can I? No. Not in the... not with that spacing. Okay, so this isn't what I wanted. Um, can I change this? So that instead of one, two, three, I go one, two, three. Put that one in the south. Sure. Of course I can. I can do that all I want. I just need one turn later. Okay. Uh... How is it like this? Yes. So I did that. Is that what I wanted? Yeah, I think so. But this isn't enough. This doesn't work. No. What am I doing? This this won't this won't help me. Huh. So I still have problem spots. Okay, so just to demonstrate there, there, and there. Yes, I can deal with those. And I just happened to line that up perfectly. But then you, you are such a problem. I have one roach left. If I had two roaches left at this point, I could protect these two. Tar would grow there, dispose those, and I'd be fine. Okay, so I need to get to that point with two roaches left. So it did not help me. Wait, did it help me to trim this corner? Hold on, so why can't I do just two at this point? Okay, so I'm starting to be able to apply reasoning. This is, my circumstances are improving. But now I have four spots. Using four roaches, which I can't even do, would leave me with just one. So I need to save another roach? 
So hang on, what did I, what have I done most recently? I did just the one single roach for that. This feels as efficient as I can possibly be with this. Feels, doesn't necessarily mean it is, but that's my impression. Do I gain anything from doing this? It means I have exactly one problem spot there, and I can kind of maintain that, so I think I do. I think the answer is yes. Yeah, I think I'm one farther along. Oh, ch uh, If I... Hold on. I can keep you there, and that's fine. E Does this do me good... Not really. I could have brought three. Say I brought three. And did... The, uh, that's not what I want. Is it? I don't know. I've been in this situation before. Yeah. So I have four left. And I need five. Yeah, no, no, this is this has made things worse. <sighs> this is tough. Oh, yikes. <clears throat> Let's do one. So check this. You prevent a dude there. Then you don't need to prevent there, but you do need here. Good. But that puts me in a situation where I need four. Needing four is bad. Is it? No, I can use four, then I get two left. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I did it, I'm done. Everything's good. Uh, I just need to time something. Um, I'm just gonna do it this way. Start releasing them, make a small delay, make a small delay here and then see how many turns off I am. I need to wait seven more turns. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this makes sense. This sure is a Larry Merc room. <laughs> I think I did it. So get those last two, put them in place. That grows safely and everything's good. Wow. Yeah, it feels like I'm playing perfection again. Something, something like it. I did it. Eventually, it yielded to my reasoning, sort of. Okay, so that was fine. Hey, first place die, how about that? In the cycle-based room like that, imagine such a thing. <laughs> okay, so that's done. This does indeed look nasty. There's a mirror there that I can't use if I want the challenge. So I guess I'm gonna have to ask myself if I want that challenge. All right, yeah, next time, if I feel up to it, I'll try this room. If I don't, I have plenty of other places to go. Cool. All right, I'll see you then.